Hello, I'm Graham, and I hope everyone's having a great day and welcome to today's video. Now in this video I should really call it Guess the Focal Length. I'm using the Canon EOS M50 camera and I've got the EF to EOS M adapter and on the adapter I've mounted the Canon 75 to 300 mm Mark III lens. Now at the moment I've got the camera set to its 300 mm position so if you multiply that by the crop factor that you get when you're shooting 4K that equates to something like 750 mm. So the distance of that uh, camera to me at the moment is at least 30 or 40 yards away. Uh, you can see in the picture that I'm going to take now where the camera is. Now this focal length occurs because we're using the crop factor of 1.6 for the camera APS-C sensor and then the way that Canon introduced their 4K UHD video mode by cropping into that sensor gives us an overall crop of 2.5 times. So something this size you're getting something like a four or five foot vertical and say six foot horizontal at that 30 meter distance. I'm now going to change over to the Canon 100 to 400 mil lens and again I'll set that to 400 millimeters. So effectively that's going to give us something like uh, 1200 millimeters effective focal length. So we'll get quite a tight crop at this same distance. So you can see we've got quite a tight crop now using the Canon 100 to 400 mm L series lens. The camera itself is set to f11, shutter speed 1 60th and ISO 1 to 100. And the lens itself is set to 400 mm, the maximum zoom on the camera. So you can see the amount of tight crop we've got by using this configuration. So this is a Canon 100 to 400 mm. That's Rivington Pike on the hill there. You can probably see some people walking around. So the effective focal length of the lens with the adapter uh, is around about 1200 millimeters. Currently shooting at f11, uh, gives a nice amount of depth of field and is one of the sharpest apertures um, in this lens series. I'll drop the aperture to f8 just to see if that's any sharper. Let's go back out to the 400 millimeter position. And the lens is beautifully held focus all the way out there. It's the beauty of the L-series lens. You can see there's a guy just cycling up to the castle, as they call it, or Rivington Pike. So in terms of close focusing, the nettle head that you can just see there is about four metres away. So you're seeing probably about 10 centimetres worth of image height at four metres. So it's going to be ideal for wildlife photography. So that little birch twig that's uh, wafting around in the wind there is again three meters away and the camera is set to 200 millimeters effective focal length. So two times 2.57 is going to be roughly 600 millimeters again. If I take the camera all the way to 400 millimeters Just reframe. And try to focus on the back edge of that leaf. So that spot on the leaf is roughly four millimeters long. So if you had a fly on there, you'd be able to pick that fly up at a distance of three meters. And there's the only wildlife I can find and that's this ladybird and he is currently about two and a half meters away from the lens so I've now switched to the auto exposure mode so if there is a change in lighting levels so the camera should compensate for that okay that's it for the video thanks very much for watching hope you enjoyed what you've seen if you're a new viewer to the channel please do click the subscribe button and the bell notification icon and you'll be warned when I get the next video in this series up to YouTube so, as usual, thanks very much for watching. Please do take care, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye for now.